We're going to start this video by me explaining the basics of trainings, and then afterward I'll be giving meta builds for all the characters that are currently released. As of the moment, Asher's the latest one, so they'll be the last one that I give the build for. If you guys just want builds for whatever character, you guys can skip to that point in the video. And with that said, let's get started. To access the training menu, all you have to do is go over here to the main page. You press your name right here, and then it'll pull up the menu of strikers. So in this menu of strikers, you can see you choose your role. And when you choose that role, you'll have a trainings page over here. So you can create up to four of these. Unfortunately, the default one counts as one, so you can only actually technically create three. But you either press create new or you'll press this pencil like thing. So once you hit this pencil thing, it'll pop up in this menu. And this is where the trainings are located. If you press this button over here, the more detail button, it'll tell you what the actual trainings do and give specific numbers. Uh, one important thing to note is that you see these little skills under here. This tells you what trainings are affected by which skills. So for example, crossover, it says strikes. So strikes is only affected by your strikes or your left click. Uh, super surge is your movement ability. So this would be your, I think it's called secondary ability. Well, it's spacebar on my controls, the WASD controls. Sting over here, it works on light, medium, and heavy hits of which your strikes are not one. So it lists all your abilities for Juliet besides that. And then you could see over here, this one is completely crossed out, cast alas. This is because Juliet doesn't actually have any casting skills or any buffs or debuffs, I should say. So they don't actually get to use cast alas. You could still pick it. Like if I do that, it'll pick it, but it doesn't actually do anything for me. So it's X'd out. So you can read these now. You can tell what they do. Um, every single striker needs to take two mandatory trainings of whatever colors are dictated per character. In Juliet's case, it's going to be one green and one red. Some characters, like I believe Estelle, have to pick two of the same color. I think you have to pick double uh, orange or yellow or whatever this one is over here. But yeah, once you pick two of those, you can go ahead and move on to this multicolored one, which you can pick anything for. I'm forced to pick one of these over here, and I'm forced to pick one of these over here. As you can see, if I don't have those, it won't let me move on to these other ones. Now that you understand the basics of trainings and how they work and how to read this menu, let's go ahead and talk about meta trainings for every single character. All right, let's start off with Juliet. So Juliet Ford generally goes perfect form, tempo swing, and then a third choice between either heavy handed or well fed. Uh, so you run perfect form, so that way you're able to do two combos. Basically the way this works is you go secondary skill into primary skill into ult into it waiting a little bit, then secondary skill, primary skill again. Or if you play WASD, it'd be spacebar right click, ult, spacebar right click, like that. Perfect form is very, very strong on her. Uh, you go tempo swing because it synergizes really well with her high base stats. And then on top of that, her ult's hitting a bunch of times, synergizes well with that as well. You're going to be healing a lot, uh, pretty much being an unkillable monster. And then for your last pick, you can either go heavy handed just for more damage and being able to knock out people more easily. Or you can go well fed. Well fed is also good or just being able to be unkillable. It obviously synergizes with Tempo Swing as well. And then you could also go built different. I've personally been leaning toward more heavy handed, but maybe as you get into more structured games, something like Well Fit or Built Different would be better. Next up is Kai. So Kai actually has a, a very flexible amount of uh, runes you can, or trainings rather I should say that you could take. So the most played build I see currently is Rapid Fire, Perfect Form and Cast to Last. The idea behind this is you have insane CDR with rapid fire and perfect form together. Kai's right click obviously is a five hit ability. So you're reducing your cooldowns by 30% because it's affected by the six hit multiplier or 6% multiplier per hit, or assuming you hit all five of the things. And then cast the last, that way you can get a longer space bar. The idea behind this build is you just run around a lot with your buffed space bar, you hit your right clicks, and then you have infinite buff space bar. And then that's especially true with rapid fire. Makes it very hard to stuff the ball in because you have extremely low cooldowns with your right click coming up very fast right after using it. So there's a lot of defensive pressure with this. Uh, there are many other things you can take or trainings, I should say, that you could take. Missile propulsion, I've been liking. That's pretty good. Super surge for a better space bar is pretty good. Stacks on stacks is also really good. Crossover is really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. He has a lot of builds you can go. Sometimes build different can be good. I've seen people testing eject button and tempo swing. Tempo swing to help against characters that hard bully you like Juliet or whatever, and then it's synergizing well with the right click. So Kai has a lot of things he can take. Honestly, he's probably the most, or he's probably the character with the most variety possible as far as trainings go currently. Next up is going to be Dubu. 
So Dubu is forced to take two of the blues. So here we have choices between either creator of large things, built different, or well fed. All three of these are extremely good. This one is trash. Ignore that it exists for now. Um, so built different is pretty much always taken. This makes it much easier to defend the goal because you can just hit the puck from more places because obviously you're bigger. A creator of large things is really good. You can zone off more of an area with like your tofu bowls and then it helps with your uh, wooden log thing. I don't know, whatever you would call that as well. And then well fed is great for defending against enemies who want to hard pressure you like Drakkar or X or Juliet. This just makes it so you're basically unkillable or they dump so much time into you that hopefully your team would have done something by that point. Uh, for your last one, with this meta build, generally people will go either crossover or well fed. Well fed if you're against the more bully comps and then crossover otherwise. I've seen some people go rapid fire and muscle propulsion, but I'm not a fan of that personally. So this is what I would recommend switching crossover for well fed if you're against bullies. Next up is Estelle. So for Estelle, you're forced to take two out of four of these on the left hand side. Now, all of these are actually extremely good for Estelle, so you can run any combination of them you want. Stinger lets you be a more harass focused character, ultra scope pretty similar, but you're playing more at range. So it's worse against people who are just up in your face, like say Juliet or X or whatnot. Uh, rapid fire is obviously really good because the right clicks are strongest move and the, or I should say primary ability is your strongest move. And then missile propulsion is also great because it increases the range of your volley. For your last ability, you pretty much always go prime time this makes it so you get two of your primary abilities, and then you just look for snipes with that. You can hard force goals with it, stuff, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, so you can take any two of these you want, and then for your last one, you go prime time. No exception. All right, moving on to Atlas. So Atlas is pretty straightforward. A crossover built different and greater durable things. Creative durable things helps a lot with the space bar and the ult. So the ult ends up lasting, like, I think six seconds or something like that. Something really stupid with creator of durable things. So that's pretty strong. You don't even have to like put it down preemptively. It'll just heal a lot if you do this. Uh, built different this is taken on pretty much most goalies. It just makes you bigger and then makes it easier to clear. And then crossover because Atlas has really slow move speed. And honestly, crossover is just a strong training anyway. The only exception I could see to you taking from these would maybe swap out crossover for well fed if you need more healing. But I haven't really seen people be, or I haven't seen anyone actually try that out. I just know that well fed is really broken, so anytime anyone takes this, I approve. Next up is Juno. So Juno is the only character I haven't actually played, so I just stole the meta build, and I'm going to give absolutely no commentary on it. So it seems like you go rapid fire, crossover, and create our durable things. Rapid fire so you can throw more of that single blob out to try and get more snipes, I guess, or more passes. Crossover because she's a scoring character and she wants the speed to be able to pass to herself and whatnot. Then creator of durable things, so your slimes last longer. But, I mean, people are going to step on them anyway. Don't play Juno currently. That's all I have to say. All right, next on our list is going to be Jakar. So Jakar pretty much takes the same things almost every single time. So heavy-handed for the stronger right clicks, because your, or I should say primary ability, because your primary ability is your main move. Uh, prime time, because once again, your primary ability is your main move. And prime time makes it so that you can kill anybody in the game, guaranteed, if you have all three stacks. And then cast the last, because both his space bar and his ult are buffed by this it makes it so his ult does more damage and then it makes it so his or secondary ability i guess i should call it uh you're going to be able to stealth and move around a lot more i can't really think of any exceptions to this this seems to be what literally everybody runs on Chikar always so don't deviate from all right next up is x so x always runs the same build no exceptions so there's not really much to talk about here you are forced to take two of the reds and these are the two reds that give you damage so you go these two reds I've seen very rarely people go prime time, but run these two. And then cast the last. Well, it makes your ult better. So it essentially, or it doesn't essentially double it. it. Increases it by 75%. So you just sit there and you left click people. You can actually just solo people during your ult without even using a skill, which is ridiculous. If you're not running cast the last, then his ult doesn't actually have the ability to kill people. So you always run cast the last. All right, next up is going to be era. So the only mandatory training on era is going to be cast the last. This one should be pretty obvious. Your primary ability and your second ability are both buffed by this, and those are both extremely strong, so always take this. Very good. Helps against every single team comp in the game. Uh, for what you're going to be taking in green, honestly, this one's pretty flexible. You can take any of the green ones. They're all good on her. Perfect form is really good, so you can get more space bars off with the multi-hits from Tornado, and you can get more uh, right clicks off as well. 
Super Surge is really good because obviously it buffs your movement ability, so that's good for both you and your allies. Uh, stacks on Stacks is good because Arrow's Plate is more of like a scoring support forward, and so having more speeds, so you can like pass yourself, catch up to the puck, all that stuff is really good. Uh, crossover, same exact reason. Crossover is also extremely strong, so uh, pretty much picking anything between these is always going to be strong. And then you have a choice of maybe picking Rapid Fire as well, though I wouldn't recommend it. Personally, I've been liking Super Surge in either Perfect Form or Crossover, but to each their own. All right, next up is Luna. So if you're playing Luna Goalie, there's pretty much no exceptions to this one. Ultra Scope, because all it works on all your abilities. And then Heavy Handed, because it also works on all your abilities. They're all heavy hitting abilities. So this is just a 16% damage increase. This one's a 20% damage increase because you're trying to snipe people away from the other side of the map. Those are both extremely strong, obviously. And then for your last one, if you're playing goalie, well, you have to go eject button. Otherwise, you can never use your space bar. So this is mandatory. So there are no exceptions. Uh, if you're not playing a goalie, well, then I guess you can go a few things. You can go something like Stinger. You can go Rapid Fire. You can go Extra Special. It just really depends. Honestly, I've never seen anyone play Luna not goalie. I think you're trolling. Well, generally, you're trolling if you're playing Luna anyway, but that's besides. The last on the list is going to be my main Asher. So for Asher, the meta build is going to be crossover built different unstoppable. This is because Asher's biggest weakness is speed, and as a character that wants to score it, you want to be able to chase the puck on the enemy side, uh, be able to hit it to yourself, contest it, pass, all that stuff, right? So this is going to help a lot with that. Build different is taken so we can force the ball in more easily with having bigger abilities and a bigger shield and whatnot. So make it so you can just maybe be able to stuff the ball a little bit more easily. The only exceptions I've tested that I've been okay with so far is one, maybe taking well-fed instead of like crossover if I want to play or if I'm getting bullied a lot, maybe I need the extra HP from this. Or instead of Unstoppable, maybe I'll go Tempo Swing. So that way I can help deal with characters like Juliet or X a little bit better. I've seen some people take Stinger, but I'm not a fan personally. Anyway, this has been my trainings guide. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, in the future, obviously, if trainings are going to change, so I'll probably make a new video on that whenever they end up getting patched. Anyway, until next time, take care.